I knew we should have hidden those eggs better. You guys are the best hunters in the world. Remember how we talked about how incredible Jesus was? Well, not everybody liked him. Some of the leaders in his day were jealous of him. And even though Jesus never did anything wrong, they put him on trial, they found him guilty, and they sentenced him to death. They beat him with whips. They put a crown of thorns on his head. And then finally, they hung him on a cross to die. It sure wasn't fair. Jesus didn't do anything to deserve that kind of punishment, but he suffered terribly. The whips and the thorns and the cross, they were all terrible, but Jesus suffered mostly in his spirit because he was suffering for my sins and for yours. I heard a made up story one time that helps us to understand what Jesus did for us. It's about a little boy a long time ago who was hungry and he didn't have any money and didn't have anything to eat. This little boy was so hungry that he did something that he knew was wrong. He went into the store and he stole a loaf of bread and he tried to sneak out, but the store manager caught him. The store manager had dealt with a lot of theft lately, so he wanted to make an example of the little boy. He walked the boy over to a group of other boys who he suspected had been stealing from him. And he said, I caught this boy stealing and now I'm gonna give him a spanking so you can see what happens to thieves. The little boy was so scared as the manager lifted the paddle, but just then, one of the bigger boys stepped between the manager and the little boy, and he said, I know that wrong deserves punishment, but I'll take the whipping for him. That's just what Jesus did on the cross. He took our punishment for us. After Jesus died, they buried him in a tomb that kind of looked like a cave, and they rolled a big stone over the entrance. His friends were so sad. They thought it was the end for him. I hate to leave this story right here, but we'll finish it in a few minutes, I promise. His disciples had to wait three days to hear the rest of this story. You've almost found all the eggs. If this egg hunt has brought up any questions in your mind and made you think about some things, feel free to talk about these things on your way to the last destination.